So if your house is located in the Bucks County, Montgomery Counties, Philadelphia Counties, Chester County, and Delaware Counties, we're going to break down all those five counties and see what are the activities receiving as of today. We also break down what kind of home you have. Maybe you have a single home detached house. Maybe you have a condo. You also maybe you have uh, apartments. We want to break down all homes and what are the activities receiving on those area. We're also going to break down by zip code. It is very important. It is a lot of times it activities are different if your house is located in some other zip codes than the other zip codes. Okay, so you have to understand what's the activities you're receiving in that particular area. So we want to break down all those activities and see what I mean in that screen behind me. Let's jump it into the screen and show you what I mean. Let's go. All right, so, you know, as you can see, you know, we want to break down by Bucks County, Montgomery County, Chester County, Delaware County, and Philadelphia County. So you want to make sure, you know, if your home is located in one of those counties, uh, we want to see, uh, you, 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 you want to see what are the activities you're receiving if you are someone who is thinking about, you know, possibly doing something with your real estate, right? Maybe now or maybe in the future. So you want to, you know, come over here, you know, I'm going to put this, you know, link and also I'm going to put all these, uh, the county's information in the description below. You can also check it out that as well. <clears throat> but let's take a look at this, you know, for the counties, as you can see, as of right now, the, um, the year prior, the year before, but comparing right now, the medium sales price in Philadelphia County is actually dropped by 2.6% and average sales price is right now 316 added up by 0.06%, right? So, and percentage of original price received is 92.8%, so 3.5% actually dropped. What that means is, you know, if your house is, you know, $100,000 or a million dollars, you're receiving uh, 3.5 percent on average uh, a, a price. So let's in this case you're receiving uh, 920 thousand dollars and 80 uh, 80 thousand cents, right? So something like that. Uh, in a home, um, the homes for sale in that area, as of right now, the compared to a year ago, it dropped. You know, 18 percent, 18.5 percent drop. Closed sales, you know, it dropped by 3.2 percent. In the month of supply, and actually 3.3, which is added up by 6.5%. And average property market period, which is days of market, is 71. So this is the number is very important. You know, it's actually 28.1% uh, is different than a year ago. As you can see, um, the year ago in 2022, the people were receiving uh, so much uh, better activities. Uh, um, that day, right? So the 71 days right now. So uh, back in 2022, uh, the, the homes were getting sold pretty quickly. Then right now, <clears throat> the market activities, as you can see, the the market period of uh, 2021 and 2022, we're comparing right now. Uh, market period of one 2023. Uh, right now, the homes are, as you can see, three uh, three uh, 32.4 percent. Uh, lower and also in 2022 people you know were selling uh, many many homes than now so and these are the charges all charges also as you can see this one we actually comparing uh, 2010 so let's say if you bought a house uh, somewhere between like uh, let's say a hundred thirty five thousand dollars right and now you home is in 2023. Uh, right now you home is somewhere into the uh, 250 thousand dollars. So your home actually your equity went up, right? And this is the this is the uh, the information I was talking about, you know. So if you look at it, you know, um, a lot of the times the clients will say, hey, um, the the homes are getting you know sold quickly but um you know some of the areas that the homes are receiving ac the activities receiving in that particular zip code 19102 you know the homes are getting sold within 163 days you know average property market period you know 
again, these are the type of home and that's the the price range you know if you hold house is located in the 19102 and a price range draws somewhere between these three hundred thirty thousand dollars you should be getting uh you know activities within one of those uh days 163 days comparing as you can see so let's go all the way down to you know the low number so let's say 37 right actually like right here 29 days so if you house is in 19116 and your house is you know somewhere between 381 the homes are you know selling way quicker you know than the your home is located in 19102 so in 19102 zip code the homes are getting sold 163 <coughs> excuse me in 163 days but in 19116 the homes are getting sold in 29 days so that's very important questions you know if you want to sell your home you have to figure it out you know you, you know you have to understand where your home is located it is very important for you to understand what zip code your home is located exactly so as you can see you know it is very important for you to understand where is your home is located and also you have to break down by zip code you know you have to put a pin right exact to the point and see what are the demands in that area you know, it's very important so as you can see some of the areas are the the demands are way higher than some other areas in that uh in that same counties right so it is very important for you to uh kind of break down and make a plan around that you know make, make the uh marketing plan around that area and 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 make really really smart move also you know it is very important what kind of home you have you have a uh, single family homes you have uh, uh condos and what are the condos are receiving what are the single family homes are receiving and what are the activities on those type of homes? You have to really know those information as well. Come to an intersection, right? And break down the main inventory by home type, okay? So it's very important as well. So if your home is single family home below 300, the home demands are, as you can see, index is right here. The home demands are 83, right? The single family homes below 300 the, the demands are 83. Comparing, let's say, single family home above uh, above uh, six, 680, right? So 680 above single family homes, index is, which is activity, which is home demands are 65, you know? Much better than compared to last year, right? I mean, last month. So we, we're comparing from last month, right? From prior month for, to this one. So this month is we getting a little bit more activities in these type of homes, in single family homes, right? In Philadelphia areas. And then if you, if you can see the last month, the, the, the activities in that, on those type of homes were 62. Right now we have 65, so a little bit better. And then single family homes between 300 to 680. You know, this month we receiving home demands are much better, you know, than last month. You know, last month was 69, and then right now we're sitting on 73. And the condos above 380s, this is what I was talking about. You know, the, it's it's interestingly different market between, you know, different type of homes. You know, if you have a house, you know, condo above 388, you are receiving so much better home demands activities. As you can see, 128 is sitting on moderate right moderate right here and then and the compare last month we were sitting on 119 right now we're sitting on 124 and townhouse you know and all the prices you know we were sitting 95 compared to last month these are all the information you know it's very very you know it's important for you to understand if you are someone who is thinking about possibly doing something with you with your real estate right and these are the uh information the one we just saw uh they break down even more even further you know to for you to you know kind of digest and understand all those uh single family homes <clears throat> between 300 to uh, 680 and then single family homes above 680 
you know, kind of break down by single uh, this uh, uh, the uh, kind of uh, window, right? And and then kind of gave them exactly what's happening on those type of homes. So uh, Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia areas in condo above 388. The moderate, as you can see, uh, the, the activities are moderate. Moderate, it's it's pretty good. And then townhouses are you know steady. So there's the information you really really have to understand if you are you know thinking about something you know in your with your real estate. Okay, so now you know how to find out you know uh, what what all the zip codes and where your home is located and what the activity is receiving. You know, I will put all this, you know, Bucks County information and Montgomery information. I don't want to bring, you know, everything in this video because it's going to take about a one hour or, or possibly two hours just to break down those, all the informations. You know, it would be better. I will put all these, you know, <clears throat> this, uh, the, the information in a description below so you could download it or you could just click it and then it will direct you to these, uh, information. You could certainly... Uh, take a look at all of these and find out what is your uh, home price and what's the activities and, and what you should do with your real estate, okay? So I'm gonna leave all these in the description below. Delaware County, Chester County, Montgomery County, Bucks County, around. and these, um, the home demand index you know, is very important. I'm gonna put that in there and also I'm gonna put these charges as well. You know, kind of break down with, uh, you know, from 2019, 2020, 2021, all the way up to 2023 right now what are the activities we are receiving as of today so i'm going to put all of these in the description below if you are you know some of those areas you could certainly uh uh, uh download it and, or click it just to see what's happening with your real estate okay so if you have any questions you can certainly reach out to me i'll be more than happy to assist with your real estate thanks for watching